Okay, so we're back for another MRE field review. So today, I got my Tiger Stripe products Tiger Stripe on, and you know, with my LBV88, the AUG, and the flies and mosquitoes are out pretty thick today. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the review. So, anyways, don't have the whole pack and get up. I guess you, you could say this is like a quick patrol or whatever. Normally you're not going to have all of this, you're just going to have like crackers or whatever, but you know, we're in the field, we have time, you know, whatever excuse we want to make, right, so that we can enjoy this field review. So, here we go, got menu four, pork sausage and cream gravy. Now, this one is a little bit older, I think this one's actually from like, I don't know, like uh, 2013 or something, so this is a little bit older. But I think I'm going to actually enjoy this. So I am not taking off any of this stuff because these bugs are just outrageous right now. So anyways, I don't want my hands getting eaten up. So I'm going to have to eat this in gloves. So this should be an interesting experience. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this canteen here. Have this thing ready. This would be my cooking and everything else. Oh yeah. So this one's a bit old. This is from... 2013 you can see the date code right right here first number is the last one so 2013 three would be at the end so it would be 2013 50th day of 2013 so we still got the old school packaging here so an MRE beverage bag and now let's just pour it all into the lap shall we okay and then of course as usual my trash bin right here so also probably gonna want to have my my knife out because I'll probably end up using that. So I'll just snap it on right there. Beverage bag, or uh, got the beverage bag, got the heater. So pork sausage gravy. Okay. Just feels like a lump. Whatever. Um, so it's almost like it's a country gravy. Okay, so we got lemon lime beverage base powder. That'll come in handy. Since we got our beverage bag, it seems like we probably have coffee. And uh, we do got coffee. And we got the brown matches. This is where we started getting government coffee. We don't have Taster's Choice anymore. So I'll just wait for a second on that one. Then we got granola. So this is like supposed to be a breakfast-ish menu. So we got the granola, the milk and blueberries. This is uh, something that uh, Oregon freeze-dried, which is basically Mountain House. Uh, so we got that. That would be... A little bit of a meal, maybe a dessert, I, I guess they could say. Crackers and regular cheese spread. Okay, so crackers and regular cheese spread, it's not bad. Today I'm actually feeling like putting cheese spread on the cracker. But, you know, I'm fine uh, with uh, this whole setup. And I am going to button up. These things are getting ridiculous and I did not put my... Um, insect repellent on so I'm just gonna have to deal with it so toaster pastry frosted brown sugar cinnamon have we ever known anything else but you know just getting one little brown cinnamon pop tart and these things are always broken up and it's like they're the factory rejects it's like if you go to um, what is it uh, Ross or something and all the stuff you get is basically mismanufactured shit so that's basically what these uh, Pop-Tarts are. So when you're getting an MRE, you're not getting a legitimate Pop-Tart. If you want to make your own MRE, you go to the store and put them together. But realistically, you know, an MRE that's a few years old is probably going to cost less than going to Walmart and putting everything together yourself. Okay, so this one does have the side tear notches, or at least the end, so you'd tear it long ways. So, you know... It, it's a little bit newer because the older ones, they always came with the tear notches on these sides. And yeah, I'm going to be sitting here waving at stuff unless you can actually see these things buzzing around me. You're probably going to think I'm insane. But yeah, these things are insane right now. It's just a, a big cloud of attacks and I'm probably going to have so many bites all over me when I get back inside. So, anyways... I'm going to go ahead and set this up, and I'll see you guys at the first snack. Alright, so the first thing we're going to tackle is this Pop-Tart. We're just going to get this thing out of the way. So, it's got 200 calories in this thing. 
it's basically just 200 calories of uh, sugar. Just, yep, that's pretty much all it is. So, as you can see here, these things are already broken into pieces. When you get them, they're not in good shape. Um, yeah, it's already broken into pieces for you. These. Yeah. Garbage. It's like these things are so dry. This is one of the first ones I got in. They actually had the frosting all over the top. That's what I was kind of silent for as I was looking at the top pieces because, again, this is the first one where I've seen frosting all the way across the top. So, kind of a treat, but usually you don't. You get the crappy ones. It's like getting a store-bought or a store brand or whatever. Oh, my God, the mosquitoes are even all over the camera. Ooh. Yeah, that's a pop tart. Nothing special, just a pop tart. Next thing I'm going to do is make up this beverage base powder, make a drink out of it. So first thing I got to do is clean all the crap off of this because beyond the field, shit sticks to these things all the time. But I think the newer ones don't really have this staticky sticking problem. And if you are going to make this. If you have like an older one like with a beverage bag and you got to put the powder into it, um, put the powder in first, put the water on top. There's some people that will put the water in first and then put the powder on top. Don't fucking do that. The powder is just going to float. So, you know, it'll help you out a lot better and cut down the time on reconstituting if you put in the powder first and you put the water on top. That's how you want to do it. You don't want to be sitting there playing a balancing game with this powder or the water while you're trying to slowly put the powder in. Because I can tell you with these little fuckers, it's really not that fun. So, and my recommendation if you want full flavor out of this, do not put, you know, the full, like, 12 ounces in there or half, cap, half a canteen cup or whatever. Don't, just don't do it. So, yeah. Being out here in the field doing this stuff brings back some memories. Yep, you, you can never really get, yeah, I would say 8 to 10 ounces. Yeah, and a fly just went in there, or a mosquito just went in there. That was nice. Yep, so there you go. There's a field review well, as you're pouring this crap. You know, stuff gets in there. So as you can see here, um, at a, just over 8 ounces, this little line right here so I'm probably less than that because I still got powder sitting at the bottom here so I just scrunch that up yep it's supposed to make 12 ounces but just take it down a third and uh, yeah, seriously like you're gonna want flavor and it'll hint at lemon lime but I'm telling you you want the uh, full flavor do that and also one more thing. You'll actually want to go ahead and grab your accessory pack if you have coffee. If not, see if somebody else will uh, get you their accessory pack. So, no Tabasco, just some salt, which I'll probably end up using. Um, coffee, I'll use. Kramer, bye. Nope. Uh, wet nap, <clears throat> yeah, I could use later. Gum. Sure. Woo, matches. Could always use matches. Um, you take the sugar, you gotta do the drink mix. You wanna taste Skittles? That's how to do it. Eight ounces instead of 12 um, in the beverage bag or something like that. Maybe a little bit over by an ounce or so. And then add in the sugar packet. I mean, this stuff is basically just sugar, anyways. It, it, it's not like you're really getting much out of it. But. Anyways, let's see how this thing's doing. All right, cool, sweet. These older ones, it, it's like from 2015 on, like all the uh, MREs just started sucking ass. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna 
fold it over a good amount, shake it around. There really isn't very much to this meal, so you know, not very many snacks and stuff. Alright. Yeah. There goes that. Alright, sweet. Let's see if I screwed it up or not. Lemon lime skittles. Yeah, you're always going to get a little bit of extra powder at the bottom, but one of the ways you can uh, save yourself from this is let it sit a little bit and then mix it in, and just sit there and do this little pinchings at the bottom just do that every now and then and it'll reconstitute a lot better. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, that sugar helps. I'm trying to eat this fast. <clears throat> I got other things going on in my life than this stuff. So, let's see here. And remove one oxygen absorber. Okay, cool. So I guess we're having granola right now. Uh -huh. Cool. So we got an oxygen absorber. Ugh. This is really how you'd be doing it. You'd just be throwing everything together trying to eat it. And I'm doing it the fancy way, I guess you could say. I didn't even read how much water to put in here. I'm just guessing. So I'm guessing it's just a little bit. <laughs> But I'll read it later. <laughs> Was this how it is, dude? You, you, you're not going to sit there and be like, hmm, so six ounces and I'll tip it 45 degrees, you know, to make it a little bit easier. B -b 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 no, you're not going to do that. You're just going to slosh everything together. You're going to have to. If you want to eat, you're going to have to slosh everything together and just be done with it. Okay, I think this is going to end up being a little bit watery. Um, yeah, probably wouldn't surprise me. A lot of blueberries in there, though. I've had this before. It's pretty good, but it's been long enough that I don't remember exactly how much to put in or how little or whatever. Oh, two to four ounces. I'll probably put more than that. Idiot. So now I'm going to have watery ass granola. So that nice, thick stuff. Yep. It's looking kind of soupy. If you can kind of see that in there, it's a little bit soupy. It's not looking that great. I don't know how well the camera picked that up, but my blueberries are floating. Yep, got like dehydrated milk in here. Or, uh, Powdered milk, I guess you could say. Not even interested in the rest of that liquid. It's just blue juice. <laughs> oh, you're wasting a calorie, bro. Yeah, well, you'd be amazed at how many calories you're missing by being told you wasted your time. Now let's go. So, next thing, crackers and cheese spread and a crap load of mosquitoes. <laughs> Alright, I think this is going to be one of my more authentic uh, field reviews. God, this is... Uh, all right, so the cheese spread is a little bit thick, but all right, we don't have time for this crap, so just gotta open this crap up. Crackers spitting everywhere. All right, yep. I don't know if it's because of age or what. It, these are a little bit harder. At least. These crackers seem a little bit harder, 
more dry, not as buttery in consistency. It might just be because lately I've been having newer MREs. I don't know. I would say the age of this MRE is about the average age that I had when I was in. We got pretty old MREs, some from the 90s, some, you know, from the early 2000s. Pretty good stuff. You know, I usually eat these two separately, but I don't know I'm just feeling it right now. But no, I uh, I remember people were trying to make like sandwiches and stuff like that out of these crackers and stuff. I don't understand it. Uh, now they split. They have MREs where, like the one I reviewed earlier, where. Um, you had two wheat snack breads in one, and they were, like, thin as hell. What a rip-off. I like the big ones, the nice and soft ones. That was my type. Yeah, this stuff is, like, a little more dried out, and... Crumbs everywhere. Not as many as a fresh one. The the newer MREs, again, I don't know if it's just because of age or maybe they change things a little bit. But it seems like the newer ones, um, they flake apart a little easier, but they have better taste. I don't know. Because both can be affected by age. Or at least, somewhat, you know? Okay, so, I'm going to put these away in the matches, and then go ahead and get this uh, main meal up and going. Alright. This heater's still going. See, at least this, this heater is actually doing its job and it's actually heating this stuff instead of sitting there and playing games. But yeah, it's still wanting to cook. Sorry. Alright. Glad I got gloves. Okay. So... Let's flatten this out. Usually people would probably say, Oh, you should have saved the crackers and the cheese and put it all in there. No. No. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I don't care about that right now. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't. Uh, like beef stew. I would, uh... I would uh, combine the crackers and the cheese spread and everything in there and I would just make this big collage, this monster of a main meal. Ooh. That's... That does not smell like that. Um, okay, this is kind of interesting. That's what it looks like. It, it looks like some kind of seafood chowder crap. It's really watery. Not really gravy-like. So it's like... Where are the biscuits? And it smells like seafood. It, it smells like tuna. That's... 
I don't know about this. You know, I kind of thought I was getting a score when I got this, but I'm not so sure right now. Okay, that's terrible, that's terrible, it's like mostly water, I don't know if they screwed up on the recipe or this is just why this thing had a very short menu life, but it's getting all the salt, <clears throat> it's just so watery, it's like, this ain't gravy dude, no way, no freaking way, and no crackers would not have helped this or the cheese spread, it's just, there's something like fundamentally wrong with this food right here. Like the way that this was done, I think the recipe and everything else, it's just, yeah. Well, just waving gravy everywhere. Maybe this would have been better cold. I mean, granted, right now it's really salty, but it's better than having some kind of watered down, you know, boiled, tasteless meat shit in the field. You know. Right now, all I'm doing is I'm going for the meat. Because the rest of this crap, it's garbage. It tastes in gravy. This is like nasty ass fermented goo. All right. There we go. I don't know. This one seemed like a pretty short one. I mean, it takes some time for that main meal to cook up. I, I would not have actually heated that up. If I wanted it to be like gravy, I probably would have let it cool down and, or stay cooled down, I guess you could say, and kept it cooler, but I think that was an incredible waste of time and a waste of an FRH to have that thing heated up. It just turned into water. It was gross. It, it was just so unexpected, and it it smelled like, it smelled like freaking tuna. Like, Really? And what kind of genius thought that that was a good idea to make a <clears throat> pork smell like tuna or the gravy or whatever part of it that smelled like tuna. That, that, that was just a big, you know, morale killer right there. But, you know, it's just one man's opinion. And there's one out there. There's going to be someone out there that would be super upset. That it's not my favorite because it's their favorite because you got weirdos like that in every location around the world. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'm gonna have other MREs to do in the future. Got some mountain house stuff coming up. Uh, got to test out some old surplus gear, and uh, you're kind of seeing part of it here. But yeah, covered in crumbs from that meal. Pretty easy to eat quick, but there's nothing really special about it. Uh, the granola probably isn't a good idea if you're on a rush because you have to add water to it. I mean, you could just have it dry if you want, but it's just not really going to be too pleasant. It's going to leave you with a dry mouth and a lot of crunch and stuff messing around in your mouth as it's reconstituting. But anyways, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. Give this video a like, and you guys have a good one.